Beach Tree vs. Balmoral. Which one is better for you? Two neighborhoods, one decision that can cost you thousands in the long run. Let's break it down. With resort-style amenities, lavish estate-sized homes, and an incredible location, it can be hard to decide between which is better, Beach Tree or Balmoral. Every time I post a YouTube video, I always see somebody posting something about Beach Tree. So today, we're going to review Beach Tree and Balmoral. We're going to talk about the key differences between the two, even though they're so similar, and we're going to figure out which one is right for you. But first, Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you keep getting this content. Now, I'm about to go get my golf club. First, location. Location-wise, both of these neighborhoods are very similar. They're connected communities and right next to each other. Beach Tree is just larger with more homes, while Balmoral is smaller, intimate, and private. Beach Tree is a whole vibe. We're talking 30-acre lake, waterfront restaurant, award-winning golf course, pools, tennis courts, trails, and more. Beach Tree is a luxury resort right in your backyard. At Balmoral, you'll find a clubhouse and pool. If you're looking for things to do, the choice depends upon your interests. If golf is your passion, Beach Tree offers an unbeatable experience with the Lake Presidential Golf Club. But families may appreciate Balmoral's tot lots and athletic field for kids. Beach Tree certainly shines for amenities and a lively community, but Balmoral offers spacious homes with privacy, so you'll have to decide which one is most important to you. But let's get into the most important part, the home. So if you're investing in PG County, you want to make sure you're investing your hard-earned money right. So it's Beach Tree or Balmoral giving you more bang for your buck. And which one is the best long-term investment? Let's break it down. When it comes to home styles and sizes, Beach Tree takes the cake with around 1,900 homes, ranging from townhomes to large estates. With homes built by Mid-Atlantic, Averford, Ryan Homes, Lennar, NV Homes, Richmond American, and more, there's definitely options for whatever you're looking for. While by moral, you'll find fewer than 300 large homes on quarter-acre lots built by Caruso Homes. Home sizes. Beach tree homes range from 1,728 square feet to 8,400 square feet with townhomes, single-family homes, and large estate residences. Balmoral homes range from 2,944 square feet to 6,766 square feet, focused on more larger single-family homes. Lot sizes. Beach tree lots can be quite small to accommodate the townhomes, while Balmoral lots start at a quarter acre, allowing for more spacious home sites. Home features. Beach tree offers diverse architecture like colonial, contemporary, and craftsmen with varying quality due to builders and price points. Home pricing. Beach Tree ranges from $500,000 townhomes to over $1.2 million estates, more affordable than Balmoral. Balmoral starts at around $700,000, with its luxury larger homes reaching over $800,000, which is a higher price point. So which one is a better value? Beach Tree's wide appeal and amenities may make it appreciate faster long term. But about more spacious lots and private setting will hold value and the smaller size community may limit demand. Depending on what you need, both communities are smart investments. So if you're curious about Upper Marlboro neighborhoods and you want more local insight that you won't find online, make sure you download my Upper Marlboro guide in the description below. You'll have all the information you need to make a decision on where you should move. Which begs the big question, who should live in Beach Tree versus who should live in Balmoral? If golf is your game and you're looking for an abundance of community amenities, then Beach Tree is a no-brainer. Also, Beach Tree offers a broader range of pricing, making it accessible to a wider array of budgets with some amazing luxury estates. But if you have a young family and are looking for more modern amenities, Balmoral is probably more up your alley. Also, Balmoral's higher average price point and modern amenities may offer a more exclusive feel. All right, guys, these are the three things that I need you to do. One, 
make sure you comment below. Let me know if you prefer Beast Tree or Balmoral. Which one is your favorite and why? Two, if you're looking to purchase in a beautiful community like this, or you're in the need of selling your current home, make sure you reach out to me at Tomei at sobatomei.com. And three, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this. I'm bringing you the most content that I can bring you about PG County and the rest of the DMV. My name is Tomei Smith. I'm here to help you upgrade your lifestyle, leave a legacy, and have fun while doing it. Until next time.